Hello guys and welcome back to another video by me Pejas and this is the first episode of all the hero gear in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And if you don't know what hero gear is, it's basically the final gear set you can get on your specialist. So you have to complete all the gear challenges on every single specialist and then the hero gear will be unlocked for you to try to go for it. There will be a hero gear challenge after you completed all the gear challenges for all the different specialists. And that's something I've been doing the last uh, couple of weeks now. And I've completed all the challenges for all my specialists. And I can now go for the hero gear challenges. And I've just completed Ruin. So for today's episode, I will show you guys how all the gear sets looks on Ruin. And the final hero gear. Or the basically the gold gear. So there's a lot of things you need to do. You have to complete all the specialists. Then you get the hero gear challenges. And then you have to complete them. And they are not easy. And in this video... I will give you guys my tips on how to do it easily or a little bit easier with Ruin. And then I will go through all the specialists in every single episode. So there will be a total of nine episodes. And in this first episode, it's all about Ruin. So let's take a look at all of his gear. First of all, the head, we have Arctic, Jungle. And you can see down there what the uh, challenge is to get these things. Then you have Warrior, Professional, Earth, Spades, Gladiator, Gladiator, and Viking. That's all the gear sets for the head. The same thing for the body, just with a little bit different challenges. Uh, the body challenges is always, after 800 kills, it's always with uh, the specialist weapon, while the head pieces are always for uh, the ability. So as you can see, here are all the challenges. And my tips when it comes to gravity spikes, you have to get double kills on the last one here before the hero gear is to go in game modes where there will be a lot of people around a objective. My best tips are Domination or a Hard Point. Then you get to the Hero Gear. And the Hero Gear I will not show you quite yet, but the challenge there is to get six Gravity Spikes kills in one game. And I know that that sounds really crazy, and but you're probably thinking, I can just go in a game in Domination and do that. But, there's one thing you need to know. One round in Domination, like after you reach 100 points and you switch sides, that's, that's one game. So two rounds, it's basically two games for some reason in the game. So if you're going to go for six uh, Gravity Spike kills in one game, you have to remember, if you do pick Domination to do so, you have to do it in that one round, because that counts as one game. I know, it's ridiculous. So my best tip for you guys to go for the Hero Gear uh, when it comes to the gravity spike kills, is to go on hard point because there's no like time limit uh, round switching things there. The entire hard point game counts as one game because you have to get six kills in one game, and this you have to do six times. I can show you it very briefly right here. As of course, you see the gold gear now as well, but that's okay. Six kills in a single game with gravity spikes, and this you have to do six times. When it comes to the headpiece, it's a little bit easier because you have to get four kills in a single game while Overdrive is active. And this you have to do four times. And the game what I recommend here is just to go for free-for-all because it's very easy to just activate that ability, kill as many as possible. If you die, okay, then you activate it later again and then you will easily be able to get those four kills within a game. You have to do this four times. Very easy. I will show you that very uh, soon. And the loadout I really recommend for this is just basically a loadout where you have the perk, I believe it's called Overclock. This allows you to get your specialist abilities quicker, especially then when you go for these challenges. This will be so much easier to get them quicker, so you can have a bigger chance of actually completing these challenges. I know there's a lot of information here, and there's so much you need to do, but let's just go in to have this guy look with the hero gear on. Here you can see we have all the hero gear on. He looks ridiculously cool. And this is really worth it in my opinion. Look at the knife right there. That gold knife. I really, really like it. I finally complete complete a ruin. And the next episode, I will go for Outrider. But here you can see how he looks. And what I also want to do in this episode is show you guys how when I got the last two hero gear challenges. Unfortunately, the gravity spike one, uh, the recording messed up. So I only have the recording for when I got the final uh, kills with Overdrive, uh, but I will still show you that. I will show you some gameplay with this guy as well, and that's basically how this episode will go. So the footage you are watching right now is when I got the final Hero Gear Challenge for Ruin. This is basically where you have to have Overdrive active, and you have to get four kills while it's active uh, in one single game. And of course, this you have to do four times. So this is the fourth game where I did it the final time, 
and unlock the headpiece for the hero gear. And as you guys know, uh, I did also have to do this with gravity spikes. I had to get six kills with gravity spikes in one game six times. And unfortunately, I don't have the gameplay when that challenge was completed. I only have the gameplay right here where I got the headpiece. So that will not be the case in future episodes. That footage for some reason got lost. But in my future episodes, you will definitely see all the challenges or the two last hero gear challenges popping up on my screen and see how it looks but here you go that there you just saw that i finished the hero uh, gear piece the final one and here you see ruin gear unlocked and you see the hero helmet right there so that was very very exciting and when the game is over this is how it looks in the lobby so it's pretty pretty cool and in the ending here i just want to show you guys some free for all gameplay while I'm using the complete gear set with a golden gun in my hand. And this is something I want to do for every single episode. So you can see when I do win free for all in the ending. Uh, you can see when I'm on first place standing in the middle and showcasing my beautiful new armor or gear. So that's what I want to do in every single episode. So enjoy this gameplay. It's a pretty good gameplay on free for all. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I've edited it a lot, so it's basically only the kills in the game, so it won't take too long. But I think you will enjoy the ending. So I will come back then. So enjoy the gameplay, and I'll talk to you when the video comes to a end. Okay, guys, there we go. That was the end of the gameplay where I used the Ruin full hero gear set. And now, very soon after this final kill cam, you will be able to see how it looks when you are on first place showing off that gear with some gestures and taunts. So that's pretty awesome. In the next episode, I will do Outrider in episode 2, so stay tuned for that. But right now, enjoy the ending. My name is Pejas, and I'm signing out.